guys, welcome to another video, and today we're going to be taking a look at the Complete Palace Chaos series. So, my, our, my last video, we took a look at the Complete Race Fan series, and today we're going to be looking at the Palace Chaos. So this, is for, this series is from 2015, and I believe there are seven cars in this series, which are very cool. So first we're going to start out with Garrett Taylor, which has been newly released. Basically the same as Michael or Engine, except for the fact he has a different expression, a di I believe a different license plate, and he does not have um, the plastic gun by his wheel. Next up we have Scott Modhorse, kind of the gold BMW, who was seen on the stand by the Queen in the London race in the World Grand Prix in Cars 2, which is also newly released, along um, with another, of course, so most of these releases in the Palace Chaos series for 2015 are new releases. So here's Manny Rodriguez, which is a Ford Mondeo, and is a repaint of Scott Sparks, Sam Carberini, Mark Wilson, and Doug Spiechek. Just, of course, he's blue, and he does not have the hat for the police from London. And we, next up, we have Scott Spark, who is one of the Bobbies in London for the, the last race of the War Grand Prix. His expression looks very nice. He's very cool. Basically the same as um, Doug Spiechek, of course, different license plate and different expression. Same thing with here we have Sarah Carberini. Basically same 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 differences from S Doug Spiechek to um, Doug Spiechek to Scott Spark. So Mark Wheel so Mark Wilson is kind of also like Sarah Carberini in a way because. Siren Carberini does not have the same expression as him, and they both have different license plates. But to be honest, I like my favorite Bobby from London is probably Scott Spark, just because his expression really sells it, and he's really cool. Next, we have Jumpstart J. Ward, which is also a, another repaint of Victor Pavione, which was released in the Palace Chaos series in 2013, and he is blue. I honestly like this this Jaguar better than Victor Pavione, just because it just looks better. The color, it just looks a lot nicer, especially with his expression. He was also one of the cars I was seeing on the stand with the Queen in London. And last, but definitely not least, Maurice Wilkes, which is actually a re-release, because he was also released in 2013, which I believe was his first release in The Palace Chaos. So he's very cool. His expression looks very nice. And if you saw a prototype of Sergeant High Gear, you could see quite a bit of a resemblance between them both. Of course, since they're both kind of Range Rovers and they both have the kind of you know, the nice attraction on their on the tires. Very cool. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And tell me in the comment section below who is your favorite diecast from the complete. Palace Chaos Collection, and I will see you guys next time, as always, for another video. See you guys next time. Bye.